Southeast Asia, according to many analysts, is going to be the new China of the world. They have a lot of very good economic growth. They have a lot of cheap labor as well as a lot of skilled labor. Places like Vietnam, for example, have got 40% of their graduates and universities in STEM. Places like Indonesia have got a very good population pyramid and very good demographics in general. So going forward, people are very bullish on Indonesia. Indonesia has seen some very, very big growth in construction lately, 7% um, on the last year and 5% overall uh, growth in the economy. I'm going to show you a few sites where a lot of economic growth is happening, a lot of very big development is happening. Um, the Indonesian government brought in a ban on exporting certain minerals like bauxite and nickel. And the idea is that that material should be refined within the economy itself, which has led to very big inflows of investment into that sector and into construction for those sort of power plants and plants to kind of do the smelting and the refinement and whatnot. So I'm going to show you a couple of different things on the maps here today. First is this region here. Um, at the top of this little part of Jakarta, I believe. Let's see the, the exact name of the region. Um, yeah, Jakarta is just to the east of it. Jakarta is this huge, huge city, massive population density, um, absolutely crazy. I, I found this interesting square here as well. I thought this was pretty cool. I wanted to quickly show it to you, like a little monument there. But this very industrial zone up here with a massive, massive power plant. Um, Indonesia, I kind of hope that they will get grants to kind of change some of their power plants to more green technology green um electricity but overall coal is the very big player you see here a big massive coal um, collection area for the coal itself and the power plant is there and this is just a really industrial zone we have yeah the coal ships bringing the material in but we also have lots of different sides of the um, economy we have um, oil here i believe maybe gas we have big coal transporters here we have um, a big smelting facility. We have gas here, I think, or oil again. And if I go down a little bit further south, uh, like around here, there's a massive eco economic area. Um, I believe some steel as well. There's a steel um, reservoir lake over here. You know, I almost thought this was a tailing dam by the look of it at the beginning, but I think it's just a water reservoir um, for the steam factory. Let's look at this infrastructure. I mean, it is really impressive, but just the density of it is really cool. That's what I found so striking about it. Um, wherever I go in Indonesia, I see these sort of facilities and they're building more and more of them the entire time. And I'm going to show you the ones that have just been built in a few minutes time. Um, I wanted to also show you these fields here. I thought they looked pretty interesting. What the uh, economy would normally look like, this kind of, okay, sorry, kind of got a bit off track there. This kind of agrarian pattern these fields look really interesting to me um i haven't yet figured out what has been produced here but there's a very interesting uh, pattern of fields and this is kind of evident all the way along the coast um all the way along and here the uh, plates didn't seem to uh, work quite as well for the maps but yeah i thought that was nice to see now i'm going to show you some of these massive factories i think this is a nickel one so you kind of have like what is a bit like a mine here um you can see lots of dumpers you can see lots of containers lots of activity if you zoom in further there's just a huge amount of um, trucks, dumpers. Look at that, a big convoy there. Diggers getting the material out. And this is kind of smart, if it is what I believe it to be. Um, the material has been sent directly from here into the factories where it's been processed um, further towards the coast. This is a massive facility. There actually was quite a dangerous explosion at this facility and killed quite a few people in the last while. It is a Chinese-funded um place and therefore i think two chinese, chinese officials i think have been arrested for it but i'm not too clear on what's actually going on there but again just showing the massive influx of investment to build these places and like wow this this is like a town and it's just a huge facility and this is, is what this is what is driving the uh, growth in the southeast asian area in indonesia specifically it's kind of domestic um production and refinement Something interesting that I've noticed in Indonesia is they have big, large coverings and a lot of what I believe is the ore and material, probably because there's a lot of rain there and other regions where I've done videos, there's been a lot less covering on any of the material, actually. Um, I've seen a lot of open pits for ores, um, which I just haven't seen in Indonesia. Here we have some boats being loaded up. And a lot of these boats are kind of tugged by um, smaller boats. Yeah, that was that Pacific one there. This one here is one that hasn't happened yet in this map. This is an older map and again this is kind of trying to highlight that seven percent construction growth um, in the economy this is pretty cool so they've taken a massive area of what was probably once rainforest as you can see here loads of trees i'll also show you some palm oil rainforest um deforestation as well in a few minutes 
but basically they've taken all these fields they've kind of emptied them of what may have been once farmland or forest um they probably brought together a lot of the material that was there the, the scrub and whatnot put into big heaps and probably burnt it i believe that's what all of these black dots are and they turned it into a massive factory um so it wasn't evident on the apple maps but if i go over to google maps um we will see this entire area has been turned into a massive massive facility for um, smelting stainless steel um coal gasification department smelters loads of different smelters and look how big these are these are just absolutely huge again just mind-bogglingly massive these facilities um yeah again i wish i knew a little bit more about how these places worked but I, i'm just trying to, trying to show you the uh, the maps and trying to show you the uh, the actual development that's going on so i won't spend too long on it but again it's just absolutely massive down here as well pt virtue dragon is um a chinese company i think and this is a nickel facility again there's lots of lots of infrastructure that has just been built in the last couple of years um highlighting that growth this is Welda bay um here now the next one i'm going to show you um okay just before i show you Welda bay this is just the port at that same facility um and i wanted to show you these boats here so you have what i believe are like nickel or ore being dragged out by boat um maybe even coal different types of material maybe even bauxite probably depends on the region and you have these smaller boats dragging these kind of big almost like trailer tugs um these here are black i believe that could be for coal for what looks to be a coal power plant on the mainland um right about here okay yeah so that was those two facilities there and again here you see the beginning of more construction this here is a place called welda uh weda i should say this again is a facility that hadn't been built yet when this map was taken they had just kind of started to get ready for it um, and again it's happened in the last couple of years you can see here now how big this facility has become you may recognize that bit of the island there it's the same thing here and it's just to the northeast of it a massive massive factory again powering that nickel economy um, since that nickel ore ban came into play so that's really worked out quite well normally when countries ban the export of something it's like a protectionist measure and probably isn't good for growth but in this case because china's becoming a less of a attractive place for investment i suppose due to their aging population and to the higher wages there places like indonesia are getting that investment and these massive facilities are being built really really impressive facility um again here on that island okay that's kind of the main um growth things i wanted to show you there's one or two other things that i found that were just general uh in general interesting one was this big facility up here a bit further north of the new um nickel processing plant maybe there's even nickel being mined from here that would make a lot of sense to me one that was interesting is a little bit over here um First of all, were these lovely islands. Again, it's a little bit off topic, but I thought these were really cool, like little atolls. They were really beautiful. It would be really cool to uh, visit those. Often these look much beautiful, much more beautiful, though, from the sky, uh, from the angle that we're seeing them now. So I thought that was quite nice to see. But that's a bit off topic. I also wanted to show you over here this facility. Again, just trying to highlight the growth. So here it's like a mine of some description, um, but there's no activity in this map. Remember, this is an older map. Whereas if we go to my google earth uh, studio view this is the same facility that we just looked at but look at the amount of trucks that are involved this time look at the amount of ore that's been covered up i believe this is a newer picture showing again the kind of enhanced activity in the region um just a lot of demand for products um in indonesia in general let me take a quick look at the economy um this is of course is the population pyramid as people have been saying online this massive amount of population in the working age is very good for the economy and because they aren't having so many children it means that the work workforce gets a bit more educated and the money that normally gets spent on other things gets spent on infrastructure which is a good thing for the economy overall but they do have a pretty high infant mortality rate which i think is quite sad 20 um, but their age expectancy has gone up quite a lot so yeah, it's kind of a mixed bag in that sense and of course they also say that the population will overtake the united states at some point too which i thought was interesting in its own right uh, but more interesting is the exports so palm oil number one export um, according to this if this is indeed uh, in a uh, hierarchy um, list palm oil is a very big one palm oil deforestation makes comeback in indonesia after a decade-long slump and um, palm oil is something that i've heard a lot about here um, in the supermarkets products trying to be palm oil free or trying to say that they are sustainably uh, produced the palm oil in the products it's 
kind of a debate because of the massive deforestation that does occur. And this right here is Borneo, one of the islands of Indonesia. And you can see here just the extent of the palm oil um, monoculture. It is pretty shocking, actually, when you look at it from a map like this. Of course, it's great employment for the region. It gives you know, great uh, products for the West and for everybody else who wants palm oil in their, in their food. Palm oil is a very versatile product. Might not be the healthiest, but certainly you can do a lot with it. But literally massive areas. Everything that is gone red here is a place from the maps that's been taken it, um, and hasn't been entirely updated. Because when you zoom in, these massive red regions where the rainforest has been burnt and destroyed, has been turned into palm oil, palm oil monoculture. Um, just massive, massive sweats, uh, swathes of area. Again, if we zoom in here, again, we see just palm oil everywhere. I had one specific, very good example. Um, might have been one of these really red ones. Look how red that soil was. And you can see here, the very beginning of the palm oil uh, facility. Um, yeah, just a massive amount of land that has been converted, basically. A lot of the biodiversity, of course, would be destroyed. And you can imagine just more and more of this land, whatever it isn't going to be too mountainous, will be probably at some point converted to palm oil if it is indeed profitable. And yet the government says, mm, we don't really want people doing this, but at the same time, it drives the economy. So it's kind of a two-faced kind of argument, um, which is understandable in a sense, but also a pity in a different kind of way. Again, this video was to show you um, those facilities that have gone from these fields to these massive facilities like this um, over the last, just over the last couple of years. And I'm sure you can speak for yourselves, but I don't think you've seen that kind of growth in your own countries around the world if you haven't been from places like this, that really massive, massive investment in that kind of infrastructure.